everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're happy to be back with you for another video. We are going to be using a 15 by 30 inch canvas and I've already began with the base color which is Blick Acrylic Mars Black. And as you know, all of our paints are mixed with two parts of Floetrol, one part paint, and we put water in it to get to the desired consistency. So what we've already done is laid out the base color and we're going to use our torch to pop air bubbles and we're going to use our eyes to look for any uninvited guests that could be any firing debris of any type that might interfere with giving us a less than flawless foundation. Okay, and we will get started with introducing the colors. But before I do, I just want to say that my intention is to do a 15 by 30 inch Dutch pour and get that one out of the way. Then come back with another part of this video, part two, if you will, give you a, giving you a two in one video where we will have a Dutch pour first and then using the exact same colors in the Dutch pour will work to do a flip cup, a traveling flip cup if we can, uh, on the same size canvas with the same colors, but a different technique, if that makes sense. All right, so we have today joining us will be the Liquitex Basics Bronze, along with Liquitex Basics Silver Argent, the Amsterdam Light Gold, our Artist Loft Copper, Artist Loft Old Gold, and some Blick Acrylic Titanium White. Those will be our colors, and we're gonna use those to do our layout and our design from. So let's get started and see what we can do with this black base. I'm gonna begin with the bronze, and keep in mind, all of our colors are listed in the description box. Should you need to refer to them, go ahead and do that by looking at the description box. They'll all be listed there. They are there for every video that I do. Then we also want to remind you that video number 28, video number 52, are videos that will assist you if you need more uh, support with the Dutch pour. I also welcome you to all of the videos that we have on our channel, not just those, but if you're specifically interested in doing the Dutch pour, we have one on how to improve your Dutch pour, and the other one on how to get the right paint consistency for the Dutch pour. And at this point, I am laying out the colors according to the order in which I introduced them. I want to say also welcome to all of our new subscribers. We appreciate you being a part of our art journey and certainly welcome you to give us your feedback, to leave us any type of supportive comment that will help us to grow as we move forward with our channel. All right, I have base color down by way of the first uh, layer of every single color that I introduced. I am going to go back and wrap back around with silver and particularly because it's the only silver that I'm using. I have golds and copper and bronze which are pretty much along the same family line but I wanted to put make sure this silver has an opportunity to show up as well. Okay so here we have our layering colors. We have torch, popping air bubbles from the layering colors, always, always looking for foreign debris, any uninvited guests as I like to call them. And we're going to try to use our blow dryer here 
to blow this out and have a design based on the out the layout that we have here. Now I have used this particular layout, but it's been with a contrasting color here, a three quarters layering split is what I call it. So we're using the colors just to split the black this time. So let's see how that goes. Here we go. We'll start on low with the blow dryer, but most often I do blow on high, but we'll see where this takes us. Let's begin here in the middle. for just a second and take a look at what we've got here so far and make a decision on which direction we go from here. We want to blow these all out obviously but this is very very pretty. We've got lots of lacing already and it looks very, you can see the shimmer and shine from the metallics as well as those golds and other colors that are there. I think what I'm going to do is pull this out and try to fan out that way. Let's try that. Again on low. Beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. I am loving what we have here. This has beautiful, 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 beautiful lacing to it. I can see the shine and shimmer from the metallics as well as the bronze. Um, just unbelievable lacing. A few air bubbles, so just wanna be gentle in our torch process on those. Super pretty. Just looking around and making sure that we have captured everything that we want to here. A couple more air bubbles here. On the outside here. Inside here. We are taking our little Panda brand swipe tool and wiping underneath for the first swipe to get this to come to rest. I don't know if you can really see just yet, but you will in a moment, how amazing this is. We've got some beautiful color here. Lovely, lovely, rich um, lacing. And it's just really, really a beautiful design. I'm pleased. We have negative space here, inside and outside, which is my preference, not a requirement by any means, but I like to see the negative space both inside and outside. Loving this lacing here and here. Some coming through here, but not near as much, but it's just really, really beautiful. All right, it's time for a close-up, and then 
you want to hold on because we're not going to be done with this video. We're just going to pause for a few minutes, come back, and we'll have another 15 by 30 inch canvas that we're going to use to do a flip cup, hopefully traveling flip cup design on. And we'll make a comparison between the Dutch pour with the same exact colors as the flip cup, the traveling flip cup. Um, that we'll use on the same canvas. So hold on for a close-up of this one. Here we are with our close-up with all of our lights off so you can get a good view of the shimmer and shine from this beautiful 15 by 30 inch canvas in which we've used some very beautiful metallics, some silver, some golds, copper, bronze, and white to do this design on. Look at the cells and how pretty they are here. The copper, all the lacing that you see throughout, just really magnificent. Love, love, love this color combination. See the lacing here, shimmer and shine on top. This piece is just calling for a lovely, lovely coat of resin. Look at the copper, the silver cells with the copper surrounding them. Again, there's black here. There's lacing. I love, love, love this piece here. Look at that lacing. That is unbelievable. Love it. And the shimmer and shine, as you can see, is all the way through on this beautiful 15 by 30 inch canvas Dutch pour with various metallic colors. So, so pretty. Here you have the full view and we're gonna come back in just a moment. So hold on, give us a moment to regroup so we can give you the same colors again, but with a different technique. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we're back and we're going to use this time to work on doing our flip cup using the same colors that we used in our uh, Dutch pour. We have our 15 by 30 inch canvas. We have two cups that are 18 ounce cups in which we're going to use the same color, color palette that we used on our Dutch pour. Let's begin again with the Liquitex Bronze, the Liquitex Basics silver, our Amsterdam light gold, Artist Loft copper, the Artist Loft old gold, Blick, actually this is um, Blick acrylic titanium white. We have that here. And we have the Blick acrylic Mars Black. And to begin with, our canvas we started on the Dutch pour was all black. And so we're going to use black as our, this Mars Black as our extender. We'll begin using just a little bit of white to open up our cup with, our foot cup with. And then we'll go in with our bronze. On top of that, we have our silver. Just tilting this cup a little bit to layer these. Again with the Amsterdam gold, light gold. And hard soft copper. Hard soft old gold.
We're also going to add the acrylic Mars Black. We have enough to begin with our flip cup. This is nice and pretty. I'm going to try to flip this over. And this one. Let that seep out. See what it does to assist us with getting us some nice, beautiful combinations of color and align us to determine where we go from here. Okay, a lot of this black. Let's set that there. And we're going to try to pull this one as well. Use our torch to pop air bubbles. Air bubbles are being torched to keep from creating flaws in our overall paint. We're going to take some black. And to assist us in having to not overstretch our canvas, we're going to add black to extend, assist with the extension. And we do want to see black, so this is really uh, good news for us to be able to see the black coming through these beautiful metallic colors. Remember, we're trying to compare the color palette and the technique. This color palette being the same as the Dutch pour, but the technique being a flip cup. Again, we'll torch. some more Mars Black. We have some in this squeeze bottle here just to help us get over the edge. All right, we want to retain as much as we can of our paint colors here. These beautiful cells erupting. And if we feel that we need to add another cup, we can do that. We'll just see where this design takes us. We're going to take in, again, see more air bubbles here. They hide. See what we can do to get a design that we are really pleased with using these beautiful metallic light colors. So here we have it. We're going to pull it together, round, covering up as much as we can before we can go off the edge. See if we can cover some of this. Okay, let's we'll see if we can go on over. Bringing this all the way down to my lower right. Over that edge. Back. Beautiful cells are coming out. Seeing some amazing shimmer on this as well. Pushing that over. 
Lovely. So we can push that all the way in this corner. Okay, and back. Oh wow, this is awesome. Really neat. We need to get our corner to the left done. But this really looks earthy. Kind of beautiful colors. Let's see if we can take this down the side like so without losing all of that. Richness and gorgeousness. Bring this in. See if we can kind of slide it on over and really see how unique that is. Beautiful. Okay, let's check out front and back. Really pretty. Lots and lots of cells. Each of these colors, metallics, along with the copper, silver, the white, the black, all are really, really showing up beautifully. Okay, I'm um, going to take my little Panabrand swipe tool and swipe underneath to ensure that we are capturing all the excess paint and making sure we check to ensure every side and corner is completely covered. This is a beautiful collection of cells. There's striations coming through here with cells. And then we of course have cluster of copper and bronze and black, beautiful colors of cells there. Loving this. Okay, we'll bring you in for a close-up. Let's take these gloves off and bring you in. Here we are, everyone, with our close-up. We have our beautiful 15 by 30 inch canvas with these gorgeous cells and all of the metallic colors that we've used, along with the titanium white. Same colors we used in our previous Dutch pour Different technique being used here. You can see the beauty of the same colors being used in a flip cup. Amazing, I'm loving this section here with all the beautiful cells and lacing and how those cells are surrounded in the metallic and the gold, all the com combination of metallics there, just making for a beautiful rich design. Loving what we see coming through the middle here this lovely copper with the black featured throughout the center section here. It's just beautiful. You can see the sides here as well. Come together very nicely. And we're real pleased with the outcome. Here we have it, 15 by 30. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the Dutch pour, you like the uh, flip cup or you like both all right and if you haven't done so go ahead and like and subscribe right here on youtube love your art and don't forget to join us on our new facebook art group acrylic dutch four and more we'd love to have your membership there as well until next time keep loving your art and we'll see you all on our next video upload bye now